So not really. We're gonna be a democratic USA is what I'm thinking. Uh, not really historic. Let's put it like that. How did my cat get in here? Hey, hey, buddy, you have to leave now. It's Fridays are for the autist boys, all right? Chat, hold up. I'm alone in North America and the Americas? I'm alone in all of the Americas. Then it's obviously gonna be a very chill game. Dude, I'm gonna buy Canada. I'm gonna buy Canada. <laughs> there are national spirit stuffs that up your war support weekly. I'm thinking we we we, we, we finna pick one of them. So we're already <laughs> We're already gonna be researching nukes, okay? We're getting 23 civs from trade. Oh, all the AI nations. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm 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 kind of alternate history because I'm democratic USA, but I will just intervene in every situation. I'm not gonna be fucking passive. I'm gonna intervene whenever there's a democratic nation that's about to be attacked. Democracy number one. We will go and talk to the United Kingdom right now. Hello. Oh, hello, my friend. How are you? Which direction does the ship swing for the United Kingdom? It is time for a change. Uh, what kind of change? Britain is gonna decide to focus on itself. Okay. And, and protecting Europe from German hands. I hate fascism, I completely agree with you. We wanna keep peace wherever there are warmongers. What would the United Kingdom say to a proposal of selling Canada to the United States? That is a firm no. So at least the British are being independent. 16 with meta, uh, 15 with is the minimal combo with, and having a small combo with as possible is the best, so essentially yes. What the fuck? Why is the UK going fascist? We got the uh, Flying Fortress and we got Construction. So the Flying Fortress, we will keep for the rest of the game. We're gonna train the entire navy. So we have a shit ton of naval XP coming in. Uh, we're gonna have the election in November, so hopefully we have enough to do this. We need to build in front every aluminum state. Okay, New Mexico will need to build up. Arizona will need to build up. Oklahoma will get from the focus. I want to have max infra essentially everywhere. So we should make talks with uh, the Dutch probably of buying their colonies. Hello. Would any of the Dutch East Indies colonies be for sale? Do you want all the Dutch East Indies or some parts? How much would all of the Dutch East Indies cost? Uh, 10 tips. You got a deal. All right, I will send you 10 civilian factories uh, once it has been transferred. Thanks, Mr. Roosevelt. Have a great day. Have a great day to you too. The art of the fucking deal, boys! Let's go! We just fucking save, Dude, we pro- I would have paid like 30 cents for that shit, dude. You know how much rubber and shit that is? We're gonna ha not have to import for like 60 civs now. We almost got all the industry back from that too. There's like a lot of the industry here. All right, uh, let's convert the Navy. Uh, leave the destroyers and the subs out. Oh, also we can pick the naval stuff for, um, refitting speed here. We're gonna do that one. We have 20% war support on the US already. Uh, now we're gonna core this. Oh, 42 million! Well, we'll wait for 250 PP then, I don't give a shit. Uh, oh, Mexican Junta is on the rise. If we support these militarily and then overthrow them, Hmm, I don't know. I, that's kind of a douchebag move, but I'm the US, so. Huh? British Empire is justifying against us. Is he really? I need to talk to the UK. Hello. Hello. What is uh, going on? I'm building up infrastructure. I'm, I'm keeping us away from war. Right, it says the British Kingdom is justifying against us. I'm not justifying against you. Why would it say the British Empire is justifying? I do not know why. Right, and you were gonna stop Germany, correct? Yes. We have our own path of fascism. The path of fascism trying to stop fascism? Yes. Thank you, but at least I know then. Actually, next we're gonna go for all the army XP guys, because that's our only way of making army XP. Okay, we're getting probably, yeah, almost one XP per day. That's good. Germany already owns all of this. So you rushed Anschluss and the Czechs and stuff, yeah? Rip Russia? What? Where, where's the Russia player? Did Russia die again? Hey, did Russia die again or what's up with no Russia? Russia did civil war and the focus suite is bugged, so you can't play it. So why did he do that? No, he didn't do anything, it just bugged out. Wait, the British are at war with the Germans now, are they? No, but India is in faction with Germany and Raj is in faction with the UK. Alright, the UK seems to be RPing about nothing. So the civil war is not being intervened in. I don't want to go fascist. We're the democ democracy of the world here, dude. I don't think there are a lot of democracies left. 
Not a lot of democracies left. I mean, actually, there are. For now. Japan's doing a historical Japan, kinda. Might have to nuke him. If he tries anything. There we go, boys. Partial mob. We got it, boys. All right, now let's go for capitalism. Minus five consumer goods, minus PP gain, but ah, uh, construction speed also, but I don't feel like that's gonna be a huge deal compared to the 10% resource speed. We're gonna go for the, uh, we get heavy fighter production, then we get strategic bomber cost here. We're gonna go for that. Uh, we're constructing very fast. With only five consumer goods, then yeah, you're gonna be spamming out mills. We're gonna hit Germany's mill count pretty soon. Japan declared on Shibase and Ma. No, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I really don't. All right, there we go, 100 PP again. Uh, resource gain. We're gonna go all the way down to the five, uh, negative 5% 5 consumer goods. I'm not going for the mill construction guy because we're gonna fill out all the building slots anyhow. Free press, I think, is the next thing. We get 10% PP gain. Negative 2.5% consumer goods. I think this is worth it, yeah. We're gonna do this next. Weekly stability also. Yeah, this is too good. Strategic bomber range 50%. Oh. So this is gonna be dot 20 marine. Oh yeah, we should do all the naval doctrine probably. I'll go for the doctrine I always go for here, but still. And now uh, we will go for Bureau of Ships maybe? Oh yeah, that also removes a big debuff. Oh yeah, if the UK wants to go for us, they also have to have a good navy and they don't. I want to have undeniable naval dominance though. Having a good navy as a foundation is very important. Now, is it worth to do the scientist support? 7% consumer goods. I would be fine with 5%, like 7% consumer goods, you know? To get nukes way earlier? I mean, hey. Yeah, soon enough we'll be able to annex the Philippines. Probably we should build in there now. I mean, they do have pretty good building slots. Germany did not go to war with Poland. Oh, they're going fascists. They're going fascists. Atomic research. You know, we will do uh, nuclear effort. Manhattan project. There you go. And we can also annex Philippines and we're gonna core everything is the goal. Starting to garrison everything is importante. Wow. Cape Commune, like the actual player on Cape Commune, capped along with all the communists. Japan might be uh, stronger than thought originally. So Japanese China will be the one controlling everything, yeah. Are there any democracies as players? Literally, no. We could go for this line on heavy fighters, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna upgrade them first. Max engine. One range. There we go. Heavy fighter three. Saw on the USA. Let's go, Bush. How much aluminum do they take? Fucking lot. So we're gonna do prospect for resources. We're gonna do all the aluminum decisions we are able to. All right, chat. We at least have an air arsenal of democracy going on. Yeah, I don't think the UK would want to go against this as of right now. We need to max out airports in the Philippines for the coming inflict, coming conflict, whatever it's called. But we're gonna get ready for if the British try anything. Fascism is just rising everywhere. We're gonna have to take it down. We could eventually demand Canada be freed from the British. Okay, what is yeah. Sweden's politically? I like Sweden, yeah. but no elections. I don't know if I could help Sweden in a conflict. The people uh, choose us uh, to be in uh, leadership. And, choose us uh, to not have elections, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, they, they chose the monarchies to uh, retake the power and how uh, our... Wait, I, I, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, yeah, okay, I got it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. He had such a stroke, dude, I could notice. I just wanted him to not have a stroke anymore. Oh, man. Oh, fascist Canada. Oopie doopie. I'm just saying, Shane. They're not very democratic. Uh, yeah, we will just reinforce the Canadian border and then we will garrison the US. The UK has a lot of devs here. This is a measure from the Japanese Minister Hiro Kutoyo, presenting authority for the His Holiness, Major Empire, and all the free people of Asia, unless the American government released all the subjugated peoples in state of war between the free nations of Asia and the United States of America. You have three months to react to this letter. Sugma in three months, bro. They're happy under my leadership. All right, there we go. Now we know Japan's gonna try to eat our ass. So we're gonna move the Navy stuff to Asia. These will be garrisons for the West Coasts. Justify war goal. December 41, all right. Okay, we have all the army advisors. We are pretty stacked up in Asia. I just need to move the air. We have 10K fighters. Oh! I have a huge fucking plan. How to use the almost 10,000 strap bombers we built. Hmm, what might that be, Dankus? Well, you'll see. I'm so fucking excited, dude. There we go. We're war with Japan. 
All right, Sumatra. He's going for Sumatra. Not doing jack shit. Okay, we're winning this war, boys. We're winning this war. Let's go. All right. How much air does Japan have? Let's take a look. <laughs> okay, I gotta... Oh, yeah, okay, it's it's nuking time, boys. He's our first tech stop, Nick, boys. He landed around me? So what about I just kill him? You know what? We're gonna enable bomb the shit out of him. Is he bombing me here? He is. All right. He only has bombers, literally. Yeah, fuck you. I'm also bomb your ass. Let's see how you like the bomb... Never mind. All right, we're gonna bomb his puppet, I guess. Oh yeah, we're, we're with the British here now too. Dude, the British are pushing. Uh, sucks to suck, I guess. Heavy fighters, go here. All right, we're gonna get Cass in here. All right, now we have bot in green air. The British should be like dealable with, right? Like. We can probably push them out here. Let's kick the British out of here. Then we're gonna return the Marines to the homeland, I think. Okay, killing the rest of the Japanese Navy, I guess. Yeah, and that's Japan gone. So now let's convoy the fuck out of Japan. Japan's Navy is gone, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Now we have killed a lot of the Japanese convoys. We're bringing the Navy over to the US. We are gonna fucking mash them. Yeah, let's uh, bomb ports. Let's bomb that and supply hubs, actually. Supply hubs, yes, true. That should fuck up the British supply a lot. All right, now we got the Marine Army freed up. Let's just kill Japan, shall we? Okay, we're gonna island hop the fuck out of them. America! America, boys! We are coring everything we take also. That's very important. Oh, yeah, we have an escort army also, an escort fleet here. We could put it out. Oh, man, look at this guy. I feel so bad for him. I'm just getting comrade to death. Okay, we'll take Malaya with these boys. We're gonna have full rubber control. Okay, we actually grabbed the supply up here. Let's cut this off, shall we? Shall we, Shat? Shall we cut off the British army? Uh? Buffalo, okay, we'll, we'll counter push this now. The nuclear power plant that is the US is fucking booming, boys. How much did you bomb in Siam? I don't know. Siam's a country and it's the entire air zone. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so let's double up on the bombing. Okay, let's clean up the US. Let's clean it up, boys. The British have no supply, dude. They have no fucking supply. Hey, how you doing, boy? How you doing? Oh, we have our navy here now? Do we? Ah, oh, we do. Yeah, boy. We gained the supply up back. We are going in, chat. Let's go like this with a battle plan. All right, British are dying. Fucking pog, dude. There goes Canada already. <laughs> baby! Baby! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Alright, alright, dude. <laughs> alright, alright. My man fucked up. My man fucked up, man. UK next, boys? Ah, hey. I don't know what's going on in Europe. You go and uh, Italy cap to Germany and Carpathia. Watch this, chat. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have good garrisons on islands. Oh, what? Bro, I want to nuke Japan, but we're gonna kill him before we have nuked them. That's a problem here. Am I fighting the Rosh also? Yeah, okay. Can kill two in one. I have nuke soon. India's a prime testing spot. Oh, yeah. How about that? You want to become a democratic free state? Nuke D-Day. Dude, we're gonna do a nuke D-Day where we like nuke every single tile. Why don't you research tanks? Because you don't need tanks when you have nukes. Oh, yeah. We just landed in Japan. That's the case here. I need more air. Uh, are we building the airports? Nope. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro! Bro, okay. If we can save these, that's fucking poggers, but I doubt we can. Like, the guys in here should be able to be killed. Twenty wits, dude. Look at them. They're so strong. Okay, I think that's Japan gone, right? There you go. Okay, he will want to push me. We're gonna have to try to hold for a bit. We'll just get him in here and we'll see. All right, now that we have Japan, we will core everything. Wh whose cast is this? Britannia. Okay, well, we have strats and shit. We should just bring him up to the front. We're gonna bomb the Indian supply hubs and ports. Yeah. Nukes 170 days. Yeah. 
India might count as a major in the peace deal thingy, so we're gonna build supply hubs for the India front. All right, here we go. We're gonna now naval invade here to the UK. All right, we'll go for Ireland first. Oh, this is why you build an AA battleship fleet. Our units are going in. All right, there we go. We have landed. Taking rest of the UK shouldn't be that hard now once we get the uh, everything here, Ireland. All right, now we need to max out all the airports. Okay, let's uh, D-Day in Liverpool and like the southern shit. Yeah, we're bombed in Ireland. Let's fix that. Uh, let's just bring the Air Force from the US. Now, I don't know how much this is. It's a lot. That's all I know. We'll go for the UK now. We're just going to get full naval supremacy. Okay, the southern army will just be put on a front line. All right, we've landed in all the northern ports. I'll micro that myself just to cut them off. Ooh, 10% per day, 10% nukes being built per day. Dude, I want to nuke him just to show him who's boss. You know what I mean, chat? Oh man, I'm gonna nuke all of Europe. I think we nuke India. Oh, China joined. What I hope for with China joining is that uh, they're not a major since they're a puppet. But if they are, then that's kind of fucked. Let's cap the UK here for London. All the ports really. Yeah, we got London. They are done for. There goes Britannia. I'm a nuke India, just because he's being annoying. Okay, we have five nukes. Now I start nuking people, dude. If you pull off of the front line, you will receive a puppeting. But I don't want to be a puppet. I don't think you have a say in this matter, if I'm going to be honest, all right? Well, I'll fight the bitter end then. I do have like five nukes waiting. <laughs> so, bitter end very close. Kaboom! <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. I'm gonna nuke more. Look at the mushroom clouds, man. There's more mushroom clouds coming, yeah? Don't worry. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I expect war reparations. No, of course not. No war reparations will be paid. Might not land everything, but some will. Nope, not gonna work. We might lose everything. I'm leaving because I'm successful in China and not there. We can nuke China a few times to gap them faster. Yeah, I'm not just nuking the Chinese, sorry. We're having bigger goals in mind here. The trolling shall commence. Oh, does it reach? It's what I like to call flicker nuking. It's where you flicker the air and nuke a new location. It's your war support. <laughs> it's actually zero? Okay, so it is for the Chinese, yeah. Oh, there goes China. Now go you. Now goes you. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna spam a bit. American Rosh. Okay, I will stay transferred to you right now. I'm not even at war now. This is so strong. Uh, I thought this is ridiculous.